and McMenamin. You owe me. <laughs> Devil's Do. So Devil's Do is directed by Matt Batinel Olfen, Tyler Gillett, and Radio Silence. Three people that were also involved with the movie VHS. Devil's Do also stars Allison Millard and Zach Guilford. So I was not looking forward to Devil's Do at all. I thought it looked like some terrible possession movie. And after seeing Paranormal Activity, the marked ones, I was pretty wiped out from possession movies. But it got requested for me, so I was like, yeah, let's review it. And this movie is atrocious. This movie honestly makes zero sense. It is so dumb. The two actors in this movie are idiots. First of all, they are involved in this movie. And otherwise, their characters are just really stupid people. <laughs> They get, like, they're off on their honeymoon, and then some, like, creepy taxi driver's like, hey, you wanna go to somewhere special, and I'll take you there. And then, so, they're like, okay, let's go with him, some stranger that they don't know. And so they go there, and it's this really shady, pla shady place with, like, barred off windows, like, I wouldn't go in there, and I am, like, way younger than these people. Dude, this movie is hilarious, too, but it's so unintentional. It's funny, like when she's eating the raw deer, that was hilarious, I died laughing. And this movie just completely fails in anything it was trying to accomplish because it's a horror movie and there, I kid you not, there is not a single scare that I even flinched at. This movie felt so long too. Wow, um, ugh. The acting's really bad in this movie, too. I guess I'll just address that while I'm ranting about everything about this movie. But yeah, none of the actors even try at all. I've seen better acting in a stage play performance from, like, a sixth grader. It, seriously, these guys have not gone through any acting lessons at all. And I was hating the movie so much until I came to the simple conclusion this movie did not need to happen. The reason why is because the main dude gets arrested, but he has this video camera, and he filmed everything. It is a found footage movie. Just show the police what happened. He could become a millionaire, and he wouldn't be put in prison, and so none of that stuff had to happen. He never had to get arrested. It's... The movie didn't need to happen. In the end, this movie is completely terrible. I honestly hated it everything about it. There isn't a single thing that I even like remotely enjoyed about this movie, but at the very end of it, I was bored out of my mind. I wasn't scared at all. I was just, I, I completely hated this movie more than almost any movie this year. It's, it really is horrible. I'm going to give Devil's Jewel 1 out of 10. Just... <sighs> well, Godzilla's next week, so that's what I'm excited for. So yeah, if you're wondering why I'm like, I've never, this is one of my first requested reviews. I, you guys can like comment stuff that you want me to review and I will review it for you guys. Just don't pick something as bad as this movie that I had to sit and endure, please. This is Figgle Link signing off. <laughs>